Hello and welcome to this Ubuntu Geeks tutorial. I'm YuGeekMon and today we're going to take a look at how we can get the newest expansion of Ubuntu Work. Um, it's quite easy. Uh, it had some bugs when you run it and uh, I have a lot of bugs when I'm trying to record it. So let's see what happens. Um, I'm going to use Play on Linux for this. Uh, just go on your terminal and uh, download and install it. In sudo apt get install uh, Play on Linux. I can have it in the description box or go to their website and just go uh, play on Linux and it should be right there to be downloaded for your distribution. Um, so yeah, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at how we're going to do this. Um, we're going to use the install and we're going to go, uh, let's see here, games and we're actually going to use the Hearthstone uh, one to get it to install uh, Belnet for us. Um, I'm not gonna install Hearthstone, but uh, I'm gonna use it for getting the Belnet to work. So yeah, uh, click install, and uh, it's in testing. So yeah, let's continue. And it's gonna create a prefix and a virtual drive. So here it's gonna install the Microsoft fonts and agree to this. And you will have to choose the English version uh, or whatever version you are on. And it's going to start downloading and installing the Belnet app. And it's going to prompt you to install the Blizzard app. So we're going to accept this one and click continue here. And it's going to prompt you to log in to your account, so I'm going to do that. And when Hearthstone installation pops up, we're just going to go ahead and uh, cancel this. Unless you want to install Hearthstone, you can just go ahead and install it. I'm just going to exit out of it. And I'm going to say installation is done. And I'm going to click yes anyways. And when that has finished, we're going to go ahead and uh, go into configure here. And we're gonna go into, um, uh, let's start out by uh, doing some installment here. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, double check that the core font is installed. Uh, they are aren't. Uh, sometimes it does that, so just check it for you as well and uh, do that. And we're gonna go ahead and install the D3DX9. Go ahead and install it. Uh, I believe that is it, unless, um, let's see here, no, that's all, and we're going to go ahead and go into configure Y, and we're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to do this just to be able to show you um, the game set, we're going to go, let's see here, 18 by 50, and 900. Uh, you don't have to do this, I'm just going to uh, emulate a desktop here. So I'm going to go apply here. And I'm going to go um, just click OK here. And now we're going to add some uh, uh, DLLs. So we're going to go ahead and go libraries. Uh, I have them brighten up here. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this one. And uh, we're gonna go and add these ones here. Um, so let's see here. The first one is uh, DFBAK help. And just click add here. And um, yes, we're gonna add it anyways. And we're gonna go and MSVCP100. Go add. And uh, WI. Uh, M I net and add that as well. And we're gonna go absent. Uh, it is M S V C R ninety. Add that and the last one D three D compiler underscore forty six. We're gonna add it and 
go ahead and click here and edit it and we're gonna go and disable it uh, like so and we have done this we're gonna go ahead and apply oh I see we're gonna install it somehow as well so we're gonna go ahead and go to install components and scroll to Tomaha let's see here and install this as well and there you have that um, last but not final we're gonna go ahead and open up the command prompt in uh, uh, wine here and we're gonna go ahead and add uh, these lines uh, all these commands will be in the description box uh, for you we're gonna go reg dot exe uh, space add uh, large characters um, and we're gonna go that and hkcu underscore software underscore wine underscore direct 3d and that one um, backslash and w uh, space video P and Sai Vendor and ID space backslash T space reg underscore let's see here and D word and space underscore D four three eighteen F. So um, reg.exe add and, and the directory wine direct 3D WV and video. Yeah, that seemed to be correct. So enter there successfully and just uh, your arrow ups up. And uh, let's edit this one. And go and remove vendor and type in device and ID. And we're gonna change the value here to 401. Enter. And uh, the last one, we're gonna go ahead and remove device ID and type in memory size. And we're gonna remove D word to S Z and the last variable here is gonna be for 13 44 successfully and we're gonna exit. So there we have it and uh, the last thing here before we open up the terminal, uh, excuse me, the wine again, we're gonna repair the virtual machine. I'm gonna just go ahead and click on this repair virtual drive. And uh, there you have it. Um, we're gonna try out to open it up. Um, Let's go ahead and I'm gonna use, you can click run here, it's gonna try to start up the Hearthstone I think. Uh, you might wanna have to go and configure and make a new shortcut and search for the, uh, yeah, here you can search for the agent or the balnet to make that start. And, uh, so that's that. But now we're gonna install the World of Warcraft, so we're gonna go ahead just gonna click here to get um, the Belnet shortcuts here. I'm just gonna double click it here. And we have the Belnet app open. We can just go ahead and uh, click on the World of Warcraft one here and just go ahead and install it. And when that has finished installing, we're gonna go ahead and go into options. And we're gonna go game settings here. 
you will have to add this dash open gale command and uh, just type done here and start again and uh, let's uh, create a character um, I don't know, let's take draw uh, Eh, perfect. It's good enough. I'm gonna skip the insert video here. Uh, so yeah, now uh, let's see. Works pretty fine. Some graphical glitches um, do it to be expected. Got all the standard things here. So yeah, this have been the guide to install World of Warcraft. So uh, thank you for watching, and uh, see you in the next video.